Hey team, how are we doing? Uh, ben here with another review for you. I've been kindly sent by Hot Dive this, the H2 Pro housing, which is their new underwater housing specifically for your camera phone and can pretty well fit any camera phone, which is excellent, even the new iPhone 13. Um, I haven't had the chance to use it in the water yet, so this is gonna be a purely unboxing, kind of what's in the box style review. And I'll give you my first impressions, my first thoughts on what I think of this housing. And yeah, let's get into it. Here, right, sick. So, it really feels sturdy. It's metal construction around the front. It is plastic, like solid plastic on the back. And you've got load of controls down the back. You've got your shutter button on the top. And you've actually even got the option for mounting it um, on a tray handle or something like that on the bottom here, which is really cool. You've got LED light on the front and you've got, this is a pressure sensor and this is on the Pro model only, so that tells you how deep you are if you're diving. For me, I'm gonna be using this for surf photos and casual sort of photography in the water, maybe going out, taking some surf videos or some sunset shots with my phone if I don't want to take out my full camera rig, but I can see it being really useful if you don't have a full camera underwater housing or you want to just use your phone in the water. A lot of people might take out a GoPro or something like that, but I think actually, you know what? If you want to use your phone, you don't have anything else, this could be the option for you. It's a bit bigger, but it means that you can use all the capabilities that your phone has, which is pretty ace these days. So yeah, let's have a little look at it. So to open it, you've got a button on the side here, or a Twizzly Twizzler, Twizzler. And you just twist it around, press the red tab, open it out. So it's actually all controlled via Bluetooth. So there's no wires going from your phone to the controller. So all the buttons are using their app. I'll give you a little on-screen display of what the app looks like in a second as well. Cause I think that's pretty useful to see. Um, charging port here, on off switch. First thing I noticed about the on off switch, which is just here, is that it is really, really small and quite in a fiddly spot, which I imagine is purely because they didn't want it to be in the way of your phone. But I don't know, I think it'd be nicer to have a slightly larger um, button there, but it, you know, you're not gonna be switching it on and off loads. You're just kind of, before you use it and get your phone in there and stuff like that. This part here uh, was white when I got it, but I had a sticker on the back of my phone and it's got nano glue on it, so it holds your phone in place and stuck to the sticker on my phone. So yeah, yours won't look quite like that if you get one. But basically what happens is you press your phone onto that sticky pad here. I'll show you. Phone goes on the sticky pad and just like that is held in place like really nice and securely. There's a tiny little tab on the inside here. So when you close it, it goes on your phone. So we line up the two tabs here, twist it, and it's all locked in place. I didn't actually switch it on, so you're not seeing any red lights here, but you get the impression. That's how it is. It's nice and secure. It doesn't move around actually when it's all locked in place. And it seems pretty good. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. So. Another thing I thought about is that actually when you're holding it underwater, there's not that much of a grip for your thumb. There's a little raised area here and you kind of, your hand does sit on it like this and you get nice access to the shutter button here, which does feel really good actually. The shutter is nice and big. It's got a nice click to it as well, so you know you've kind of pressed, which is good. Um, but it doesn't actually, it doesn't feel like it's not just gonna fall out of my hand, if that makes sense. If I was swimming around with it, I would want something else. I actually earlier attached my tray handle on the side, the one that I use with my normal housing, and I felt that that really did make it a really usable piece of kit. Um, there is a little wrist handle that comes with it, that I'm sure is okay, but again, if I was gonna use it properly, I'd probably put a bodyboard leash on it. Comes with O-ring o -ring grease, which, as you know, I love, and Really, really crucial to put on every time you take it in the water. What else does it come with? Pack of accessories, the usual wires and spare O-rings and stuff like that. A nice box. And also what I really liked, it comes with a really like decent case, like one that you could actually use and actually take traveling. It is big, um, but it does fit all the accessories in and fits this really nicely. And so I think would be pretty secure. Any other initial thoughts? I mean cool stuff that it does have is an LED light, so I'm just gonna switch it on quickly. First thing you'll notice is that it has the red 
light on the back and that means that it's not been uh, automatically sealed. So it has a vacuum pump which you access via taking off this little top nut. Press and hold the LED button and we'll hear it go. There you go. So it's automatically pumping the air out of here and creating a vacuum inside the housing which has the benefit of two things. It means that it gets rid of any excess moisture and helps to prevent it from steaming up. I don't know if you can hear this buzzing, but it's quite loud, fairly loud. Um, but also, um, it's gone green. It means that the door is held on really, really nice and securely because there's a vacuum behind it, which is great. So that actually makes it more secure. So once you've finished doing your vacuum pump, what they tell you to do is put the cap back on nice and securely and wait 30 minutes before you go in the water. And that's really just to check that the seal is secure. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've never waited that long, but I don't condone taking it in the water beforehand, so don't come back to me with that one. <laughs> um, so when the light's green, it tells you that it's all sealed. I guess you meant to wait 30 minutes just to check that it's all okay, but assuming that it is, we are now good to go. One of the great features of this housing is the fact that it's got an LED light built in, so prepare to be blinded, here we go. Bang, LED light straight up. It's pretty cool. Um, and I can imagine that being really, really useful. You could get some cool arty above the water shots in the water with that light. You can use it underwater for video because obviously visibility is less underwater anyway. So actually having a built-in light, which has got two different brightnesses, is pretty awesome. And I'm very, very much looking forward to checking it out. A little bit on the app as well. I think we'll get into that. Like a little bit clunky, but it does work. It's got a lot of nice features. You can take photos and you do all the controls within the app. So it allows you to take raw photos on your camera, you can do videos, and you can actually adjust a load of settings with the buttons on the outside of the camera housing as well, which I think is a really, really cool touch. So first impressions feels really sturdy. It's quite heavy, um, does seem to work pretty well so far. Looking forward to getting it in the water. Um, but I think you will want an extra something to hold on to because I know you could hold and swim around like this, but for me, I probably want an extra little bit of something, but epic to get your phone in the water and epic to have something that you know you can dive down pretty deep with. I can't remember the stats off the top of my head, but I'll put them in the bottom of the video. I'll also link to this in the description. In the future, I'll be back with a full in-water review of this, the Hot Dive 2 H2 Pro model and I'll let you know my full thoughts when I've tested it out, taking some surf photos and doing a little portrait or video shoot or something like that. And we'll see how we get on. Till next time, cheers.